Declaring and deploying are two different steps required to make your smart contract available on Starknet. Declaring a smart contract registers its code on Starknet. If the same smart contract code has been declared by someone else before, you don't need to declare it again. If, if you try, the transaction will simply fail, informing you that the code has already been declared. An example of this is declaring the code of an ERC20 token. The code has more likely already been declared by someone else, so you don't have to do it again. If, on the other hand, you are working on a brand new smart contract unique to your project, you will need to declare it before you can deploy it. A declared smart contract is known as a contract class. Here you can use the analogy of object-oriented programming. A contract class is the blueprint from which you can derive individual instances. On Starknet, the process of creating instances from a contract class is known as deploying a smart contract. A contract class is identified by its class hash. This identifier is the hash of the Sierra code of your smart contract. When deploying an instance, you need to specify which contract class to use as a blueprint and you specify it by providing its class hash. And contract classes are pure code, they don't have storage. Uh, this is how a smart contract is complemented by a contract class. The contract class provides the logic for each method, while the smart contract handles the storage of a specific instance that uses that logic. For this reason, contract classes can be used as reusable libraries. As mentioned before, contract instances can be derived from contract classes, much like in object-oriented programming instances can be derived from classes, similar again to object-oriented programming. When deploying a contract instance, or what we uh, normally refer to as a smart contract, the protocol will invoke the constructor function of the contract class. To reiterate, a contract instance has storage. This is in contrast to a contract class, which is pure code and has no internal state. While a contract class is identified by its class hash, a contract instance is identified by its unique address on the network. In short, declaring and deploying are two steps to make your smart contract available on Starknet. Declaring is about registering a new codebase and has to be done only once globally. Deploying is mandatory and you need to define which contract class to use as the blueprint.